Good morning, and welcome to today's special recognition ceremony. It's been a long time coming, uh, but we're here today to uh, express appreciation to all of our county employees for their hard work and dedication and commitment to the citizens of this county during winter sto storm Jonas. Now, we tried to schedule this a few times before, and the weather kind of did us in. It seemed like every time we wanted to have this event, it snowed and everybody had to be out at work and on the job. So we thought we'd wait a few months until we were pretty sure it wasn't going to snow again. And uh, we appreciate that everybody could be here even though it's a nice uh, rainy day. So earlier this year, our region came through a huge snowstorm that basically dropped three feet of snow, most of our snowfall for the winter, in just one day. Winter Storm Jonas was a very challenging snow event, but working together, Frederick County employees delivered for all of our citizens. Although the storm was extremely difficult, it also brought out the best in our employees as we worked together to get the job done. So today, this recognition ceremony is all about you. It's about thanking you, our county employees, for your hard work, your dedication, and your commitment to rising to the challenge, doing whatever needs to be done to serve the citizens of our community. On Friday, January 22nd, we closed county government at about 2 p.m. because the National Weather Service had issued a blizzard warning. We wanted to make sure that people could get home and be as safe as they could. We and many businesses would not open again for uh, several days after the weekend as the county dug out of the snow. Our emergency management team opened the County Emergency Operations Center, which we call the EOC, and we were all hands on deck for this storm with many divisions represented and staffing the EOC for the duration of the storm. Our message to citizens and a message I repeated over and over and over again what to, to the public was to stay home, stay safe, stay off the roads. And we encourage everyone to exhibit patience until we could work to reopen the roads. Again, the main reason we're gathered here today is to recognize and express our appreciation to all of you and to thank you for the work you've done to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of Frederick County citizens. So while many activities and businesses in our community came to a complete halt due to the blizzard-like snowstorm, and most of our residents were hunkered down at home, a majority of county employees remained on the job. You know, I, I once had a member of my own family, a relative, say to me uh, over a Christmas holiday when it was actually snowing, it was Christmas Eve, he said, well, I guess county government's probably shut down for the week and employees have an extended vacation. And I said, well, actually, right now, probably about half of the county employees are at work. And he said, what do you mean? I said, well, it's snowing outside, and even though it's Christmas Eve, there's people out plowing the roads. And there's people working at 911 to answer calls for emergencies, because emergencies are still going to happen. Our fire stations are staffed. Our uh, law enforcement is out. The people who work in corrections are still there. There's people at animal control to make sure animals are taken care of. People at water and sewer are there to make sure that uh, the water still functions. And uh, quite frankly, I think he was surprised. Be but this is what people take for granted. So we're here today to sh say thank you and to share the message that county employees are always on the job and they're often on the job when everybody else is at home. So during the storm, we had highway operations, parks and recreation, law enforcement, fire and rescue, corrections, 911 emergency communications, water and sewer, the health department, transit, animal control, citizen services, facilities maintenance, emergency management employees, and my own county executive staff and our communications department were all on duty. Many employees worked for extended time periods, including multiple overnights to make sure services and public safety needs were met. Employees rose to the challenge, worked tirelessly to clear the snow from our county roads, and I know that in many instances, we had to literally dig out and haul out and remove the snow. Snow removal was a challenge due to the sheer volume of snow and the winds and the drifts. And crews worked for many hours to clear 2,600 lane miles of roads. I can really not thank our county road crews, our public safety employees, and all of our other many employees who worked hard uh, during this uh, snow event. 
I want to thank you for your dedication and your heroic efforts during the height of the storm. And I really want to thank everyone because I know I'm going to miss somebody. I really want to thank everybody for your work and your efforts to, on behalf of our community. I also want to acknowledge your families. The families of our county employees, without their support, without the support of your families, many of you would be unable to literally work for long days, long absences from home to get the job done. And, you know, during the snowstorm, um, you know, I work too. And what I work is answering the phone, talking to people who have some kind of need or issue. I was on social media a lot. Uh, certainly a handful of people were out there complaining because their roads weren't cleared as quickly as they wanted. And um, I noticed something. Some of the people who responded on Facebook and were um, uh, supporting the snow removal operation were part of your extended families. And I want to say thank you. Your families helped to get out a positive message about the work we were doing. A and I really appreciate that. I also need to thank our volunteers. We certainly had volunteers in fire and rescue who were out in the stations, as well as auxiliaries who were providing uh, food and other support. And then the stories of people helping people are numerous, and they really give us a lot to be thankful for in our community. Our community is a special place because of the people who live here and the people who work here. I I'm really heartened by the stories of employees and average citizens who really uh, went out of the way to take some kind of extraordinary action or actually maybe sometimes to do something that seemed fairly simple to help others in need. All over the county there were stories, citizens providing assistance to their neighbors. I'm grateful to our staff who called all of our Meals on Wheels participants every day to make sure that they were okay and had enough food. Uh, we were able to deliver food when needed with the help of volunteers and with assistance of uh, of local teachers who volunteered when schools was canceled. There was a lot of great teamwork. And I want to thank the county transit staff who made sure that patients who needed to get to dialysis got to dialysis. And of course, sometimes we took people with, you know, fire and rescue, took people who needed help uh, to the hospital for dialysis. And for our water and sewer folks who make sure that water keeps running. You know, a lot of the utilities um, during uh, storm events, you know, we all worry about not having electricity. We used to worry about not having phone service, but that's not so much true anymore with cell phones. But water and sewer always works. If you're on public water and sewer, you can count on it uh, being there no matter what the conditions. And our 911 call takers, who not only had to answer the phone for emergencies, but also um, they had to answer calls for lots of other purposes. So we were able to take care of people under the worst conditions, whether it was plowing our streets so neighbors could get out or people helping other people to get out. We had a dad who called for help. He wanted to get to the hospital to take uh, his son in, and we made sure that, that that could happen. So I also want to thank people who uh, in our community who offered food and meals to our county crews, people who expressed their appreciation and thanks. I'm truly grateful that most of the citizens in Frederick County cooperated and followed instructions during this event. We had far fewer uh, vehicles that were stranded than we did when we had the snowstorm in 2010. When we had people stranded in vehicles around the county overnight, we had nobody stranded overnight, which was good. And um, really, uh, people did follow instructions uh, during the uh, immediate response after the storm. The 2016 snowstorm, Snowstorm Jonas, will sit in the record books for sure. It was an extraordinary event. And I'd like to pause here to uh, read a proclamation uh, to uh, express appreciation. Whereas from January 22nd through January 24th, 2016, a major blizzard produced approximately three feet of snow in parts of the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast United States. Dubbed Winter Storm Jonas, the blizzard paralyzed the eastern third of the nation and has been labeled one of the top 10 snowstorms of our region. This horrendous blizzard impacted all areas of Frederick County. Business operations, transportation, airline flights, sporting events, schools, caring for seniors in the homebound, and many, many more. And whereas Frederick County government employees, allied agencies, and contractors worked countless hours during the blizzard, 
plowing roads, rescuing stranded vehicles, responding to citizen needs, delivering meals to seniors and those with disabilities, maintaining critical and essential services, and saving lives. Highway crews work with very few breaks clearing roads and reopening them on an ongoing basis. Every county division and department joined together to help citizens during the blizzard. And whereas our county is especially indebted to our employees for their exemplary and heroic service during this snowstorm, their outstanding efforts are a testimony to the training, preparation, and excellent work ethic our division and department directors, as well as all county staff, who themselves provide an example through their dedication to our citizens. There was no service too small or too large for our employees to undertake in spite of the worst winter conditions. Now, therefore, as the County Executive of Frederick County, Maryland, I hereby proclaim today, Tuesday, May 17th, as Snowstorm Jonas Appreciation Day in Frederick County, and I encourage all of our residents to thank and recognize the hardworking and tireless efforts of Frederick County government employees and our partners in the community. So with that, I know there are a lot of people standing here uh, with me representing various divisions. Uh, if any of you want to say a few words, I would offer you an opportunity. If not, I'd like to offer an opportunity for uh, President of the Council, Bud Otis, to say a few words. Um, one of the things I really want you to take away from this is that we work together and we share the value of valuing our employees. And so um, I really appreciate that uh, President Otis is here to join in this appreciation uh, celebration. Thank you, County Executive. <clears throat> I want to really take my hat off to all of you who are involved in this critical storm. I had a neighbor who lived on the same cul-de-sac I live on in Christmas Ferry Court in Middletown. He sent me a, a, a Facebook comment. He said, don't you know somebody could get this plowed out for us? I said, yes, I do, and I'm not going to call anybody. Um, I don't think we should get any special favors. And I waited till Monday afternoon until my driveway was plowed out, and I was really glad to see whoever was in that truck uh, coming up our road. So many times, the work you do, you do out there by yourself, and a lot of people don't see you. You're not you know, performing in Nationals Park or Camden Yards where people can clap and cheer you on for the work you're doing. And the county executive and I really want to make a point of letting the, the members of this team, the, you are part of the team that is leading this county, we want you to know that you really are appreciated, and we really mean it. Uh, you're very valuable. You are doing a tremendous job. And just as a little side note, when you were plowing, you did a really neat job. You just didn't hit it and run. You cleaned it up. It really looked good. And I, I thought that that is Frederick County, isn't it? We don't do it halfway. We do it right. And you did a beautiful job with a tremendous snowstorm <clears throat> and I want you to know excuse me <clears throat> we really appreciate it from the bottom of our heart do not leave here today without that in your heart know that and we because we really mean it you're a tremendous team and we value you very much thank you very much Thank you uh, very much I'm really uh, grateful and thankful to all the dedicated county employees for keeping us safe, for keeping us dug out, and for going above and beyond the call of duty. So today is all about you, and uh, we really do want it, you to know that you're appreciated. Uh, we thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy our celebration today. I, I see some of you out and about, and uh, I, I really think you do a professional job and really make Frederick County proud. Uh, we're very proud of you, uh, very appreciative of you. I thank the Park and Rex team over there for always keeping uh, the building I work in looking spiffy. Uh, it really always looks great uh, for keeping our parks looking great. You know, people come to Frederick County and they really ask us, how do you do this? And we do it because of all of you. So thank you very much for making us look good. Thank you very much for taking care of the citizens of Frederick County. We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. So thank you.